I imagine right now that there is a purple line going right down my face from that light behind me, which is quite annoying and possibly quite um, distracting. So I was trying to think of the best way to solve this problem and I came up with a novel idea. Perhaps Shrek. Quite warm, but a bit small for my head and not very effective at blocking out the light. The fluffy winter teddy bear hat. Again, nice and warm and cute bobble ears, but not very effective at blocking out the light. The trilby. Quite uh, stylish and cheeky when worn at a bit of an angle. And you can do the hat walking up the arm thing. Mm. But again, not very effective at blocking out the light behind me. Here's where it gets a bit silly. The, this is actually the hat from my festive Friday costume hat. Oh, and it's a Christmas tree. Quite effective at blocking out the light, and it's quite comfortable on my head, but it does look ridiculous. <laughs> See, when I was little, I went to London and bought a jester hat, hat with bells on. Again, it's very effective at blocking out the light, but quite ridiculous at the same time. The sparkly cowboy hat. Pink and girly, but quite plasticky, and occasionally, if I don't sit up very straight, it doesn't block out the light. And finally, the policeman's helmet. Strong, sturdy, very hard wearing, and um, the best at blocking out the light from behind me. All of these hats are quite ridiculous, but I now feel as if I have to continue my vlog whilst constantly changing hats. This should be quite fun! So the main reason that I um, am making this vlog on a Wednesday night is because Megan sent me a message on Tumblr. Um, also, I must point out that my vlog is not exactly stuff full of prompts. It's mainly me hating on Pottermore, sorry. Hmm. This is the closest approximation I had to a witch's hat. And if I let go of it, it will probably fall off my head because it's broken. It's got a little hairband underneath, which has snapped. I can kind of imagine why you might be moaning about Pottermore, Megan. There are a lot of things which I would indeed like to moan about, but I won't because I'm a Potterhead. And no matter how much I try to hate it, I do kind of love it a little bit. The main things that I would guess that you're moaning about is all the glitches. There are still a lot of glitches in um, the website, which I haven't ironed out, which have, some of them have been there since it was first opened to us beta testers, so they still need to work on them. You might be annoyed by some of the people who are in the common rooms. I've seen a lot of people who have been annoying in the Hufflepuff common room. There's not actually that much to do on the site. Once you've gone through the first book, and finished that. They haven't opened most of the site yet, which is kind of annoying because there's not much to do now. You might not even like the house you've been sorted into. A lot of people have been coming into the Hufflepuff common room and moaning about being in Hufflepuff. What's the logic behind that? You're in a place full of Hufflepuffs who will shout at you or tell you to go away or just fiercely defend Hufflepuff. George, Gryffindor's not where it's at. Come on, J.K. Rowling is a Hufflepuff. I don't find your comment particularly amusing. In essence, Pottermore is a companion to the series of books. You're supposed to be reading the Harry Potter series as you go through Pottermore. It's kind of you experiencing the story almost as Harry, but not quite. I think people's expectations were a little bit too high. I think they were expecting games and all that sort of thing. It's not supposed to be for games, it's supposed to be a companion to the books. And people were expecting it to come out with trumpets and baton twirlers and fanfares and confetti cannons and things like that. And it hasn't. It's been calm and quiet and understated. Megan, I've just watched your vlog, um, which you uploaded today. And, um, yeah, how did your exams go? I hope, I hope they weren't too bad. They give you those names because they don't trust people on the internet basically. Pottermore is almost 100% about anonymity because of the fact that there will be so many small kids who love Harry Potter on it and they don't want to put them at risk from all the horrible people out on the internet so that's why they give you the names. I know they could probably trust people like us to think of our own Harry Potter names but that's the way it works I'm afraid. Pottermore is a bit weird about these sort of things. And it's Accio Rose 10441. I'm surprised that none of the stuff that I thought of actually came up in your vlog. You were moaning about not actually being able to get onto Pottermore rather than um, the content of it. Megan, it was very difficult for me to sort you. But I was proved right. I should 
be paid to be the sorting hat. I think I would be a good sorting hat. That's a bit pretentious, isn't it? My Pottermore wand is um, 14 and a half inches long, which is hench. Um, it's quite flexible. It's made of Rowan and Phoenix feather. Megan, as long as you don't go around boasting that you've got the Elder Wand, we should be okay. Can I ask a question, Megan? When you were sorted into Gryffindor, did you get a video from JK Rowling, or did you just get a letter? Because I think when I was sorted into Hufflepuff, I think we might have got both. We've definitely still got the video. I remember watching that, but I don't think any of the other houses have. Megan, also, I love the poster behind you in your room. It really made me smile, and it for two reasons. One, because it's Doctor Who, obviously, and therefore it is awesome. And two, because look what I just changed my phone background to um, yesterday. Same picture. How odd. The main reason that, well, the main, main reason, I was lying earlier on, the message about Pottermore wasn't the only, the main reason of me making this vlog. The main reason for me filming this vlog is Megan did send a message to me about, um, an idea I had. Have you ever seen Chris Moyles, uh, what, have you ever heard his radio show when he has a guest in and then they're going on another show later on? He tries to get them to slip a word into the interview later on. It, it sounds like a lot of fun and I thought it would be a good idea to try and do it on this channel. So I did include a secret word earlier on and I wonder if any of you guys noticed it. Hopefully I've done a good enough job that it was quite well hidden but not so good that you guys can not guess it. Make sense? So if you think you know what word it was then please by all means leave a comment down below in the thingy with words in. It sounded like a really fun idea at the time but the problem is we haven't got that many subscribers at the moment so this game might not work very well but please give it a go because I want I want to get this game going and have it as a little theme for each of our videos maybe for a week a couple of weeks or so or if it's successful just keep it ongoing I think that would be a nice little quirk of our channel see you later